It is truly impressive how masses of people have adapted so quickly to video conferencing. Congratulations. I wanted to just take a moment and because I've experimented with this stuff over a number of years and I've learned some tips that I'd like to pass on to you. And keeping in mind, I'm not about perfection because perfection is the enemy of progress. But there's a few little tips that I've learned that I think can really improve what you, how you come across in video. So I use the acronym LAB, L-A-B. L is lighting, A is angle, and B is background. So first of all, lighting. I've experimented with a lot of things. What I have right now is I am sitting facing a south window. And it doesn't have to be a south window, that's just where it works for me. So natural lighting is really great. Now, if you purchase like umbrella lights, you can um, have those below your eye, be below your eye level, just the way the light comes up. But avoid having light either above you or behind you because it makes your face kind of fade out and it's hard on your, your other people's eyes. So lighting, make sure you get that right and avoid having a window open behind you. That's really actually the worst thing. Okay, that's L. A, angle. A lot of times people are looking at laptops. You even see this on the nightly news and they're looking down. And that's not a really great angle in terms of, of projecting to your audience. So I think about how do I raise my, my laptop up? And this, most people have books in their house. And if it's not a book, maybe there's something else, bricks or something that you could set your laptop on. And I think that the best thing is to have it just the camera just a little bit higher than eye level and remember when you're looking at the camera and you're making a point look at the camera eye because that's how people will see you looking right at them and when someone else is talking maybe not so important another thing a little tip i found a few years ago if you're on a phone a, a smartphone this is a handy little thing um, all you do is you put, open it up, put your phone in there lengthwise, sidewise, and then bring this up. And what it does is it makes a really nice little table to hold your phone upright. So again, angle is really great. It's, sometimes it's hard to have that iPhone or whatever phone you use at the right angle. So the other thing about angle is to think about your posture. Now I see a lot of people doing this and and sure, you're tired, you've been on the phone, you've been on these things all day long, but notice the difference in how I appear when I, when I sit up straight and watch my posture. So those are angle type of things. Then background. Background can be really difficult to control um, at your home. And I think it's been kind of fun to see different people's backgrounds. You learn a lot about people in terms of what their setting is. This is my living room and you know my company is Spiral Impact so I have a spiral lamp here. If you know me my work is, is grounded in the martial arts. I have that appropriate art on the back wall. Um, is it the message you want to convey professionally is the question. So you want to hang up fabric behind you that also can work or find a wall. I'm just getting the right color. And those are my three tips. Lab, L-A-B. Again, don't, don't hear this as wanting you to be perfect because perfection is the enemy of progress. Thank you for hanging in there with me and um, be well.